Welcome back to Geology Info. Amidst the cold and turbulent waters of the North Pacific lies a chain of islands unknown to most people, but harboring one of the greatest geological risks on the planet. The Aleutian Islands stretch like a natural bridge between Alaska and Russia, forming a necklace of volcanic peaks shaped over millions of years. This region is marked by isolation, cutting winds, and a landscape that hides more than it reveals. Despite being far from major cities, the Aleutians are anything but harmless. They are located in one of the most seismically active and dangerous zones on Earth. Historically, this area has been the stage for earthquakes and tsunamis that crossed borders and caused impacts thousands of miles kilometers away. One of the most remembered events happened in 1946, when an earthquake near Unimac Island triggered a devastating tsunami. The waves exceeded 33 feet, 10 meters in height, and crossed the ocean, striking Hawaii and claiming over 150 lives. That disaster led to the creation of the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, marking a new era in natural disaster monitoring. Yet, despite its history, the real risks hidden beneath the Aleutian Islands continue to be underestimated. The region sits atop a colossal geological fault, a subduction zone where the Pacific Plate slides beneath the North American Plate. This movement is responsible for constant tension building up under the ocean floor, functioning like a spring that could snap at any moment with uncontrollable force. And the worst part? This fault has remained locked for far too long, increasing scientists' concerns. The area of most concern is known as the Schumagin Gap, a quiet zone roughly 155 miles, 250 kilometers, long between the Alaskan Peninsula and the central Aleutian Islands. This part of the fault is stuck, meaning the plates are not moving smoothly, but are instead accumulating an enormous amount of energy. For geologists, this is a critical red flag. When that energy is finally released, the resulting quake could reach magnitudes similar to the one that struck Japan in 2011. This potential megathrust earthquake would have consequences far beyond Alaska. Massive waves could form within minutes and travel across the ocean at high speed. Cities like Anchorage, Honolulu, San Francisco, Tokyo, and even parts of Chile would lie in the path. It would be a global scale event, capable of causing destruction across continents in just a few hours. The scariest part is how little time people would have to respond. Despite the scale of this threat, much of the world remains unaware of what's brewing beneath the Aleutian Islands. Scientists have issued warnings, research has been published, and models have been run, but little attention has followed. Meanwhile, time keeps ticking, pressure keeps building, and the Earth remains silent. But geologists say this silence is the most dangerous part because once the ground starts shaking, it could mark the beginning of something that changes the fate of the entire Pacific. The impacts of a megathrust earthquake in the Aleutians wouldn't end with violent shaking. The real terror would begin immediately after, when the ocean floor shift would cause an abrupt water uplift, generating colossal waves in all directions. These waves, known as tsunamis, move at speeds comparable to a commercial jet, crossing vast distances within hours and reaching unprepared coastal regions before there's enough time for full evacuation. Alaska, being closest to the epicenter, could be struck in under 20 minutes. Cities like Sandpoint, Cold Bay, and Dutch Harbor would face immediate destruction. The combination of landslides, collapsing buildings, and communication outages would create chaos. Despite the low population density, the region's poor infrastructure would make rescue and relief efforts extremely difficult. These coastal communities, lacking fast escape routes, would be at a severe disadvantage in such a catastrophe. As the waves spread across the ocean, the countdown would begin for places like Hawaii, which would have between four to five hours to prepare. On the US, west coast, including California, Oregon, and Washington, response time could range from six to eight hours. Although this window is longer, evacuating millions of people from densely populated areas like Los Angeles and San Francisco would remain a massive challenge. Other parts of the world would also be at risk. Countries like Japan, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Canada, and various regions of South America, including Chile, would feel the impact. Even distant areas could be affected in under a day, with waves potentially reaching heights from 3 feet to over 66 feet, 1 to 20 meters, Depending on seabed topography and fault rupture characteristics, simulations show that entire ports could be flooded, buildings destroyed, and neighborhoods swallowed by water. Preparedness for such an event is highly unequal around the globe. In places like Hawaii, evacuation routes, educational campaigns, and warning sirens are well established. But other regions lack even the most basic alert systems. 
tourists often don't understand the warning signals or how to react, which increases the risk of loss of life in busy or heavily populated areas. Even in resource-rich countries like the United States and Japan, not all coastal cities are equally prepared. Some invest in drills and awareness campaigns, while others ignore the threat. In the South Pacific Islands, parts of Southeast Asia and Latin America, the situation is more dire. Limited funding, inadequate infrastructure, and lack of information leave millions vulnerable. When the waves come, these areas could suffer avoidable tragedies if action isn't taken in time. Although we can't stop a megathrust earthquake, science has made significant progress in forecasting and monitoring such events. One of the key tools is the DART buoy system, located offshore, which detects changes in water pressure indicating tsunami waves. These real-time readings are sent to specialized monitoring centers, where satellite images and seismic sensors are combined to more accurately predict wave direction and impact. If the Schumagen Gap ruptures, simulations by the U.S. Geological Survey predict alarming outcomes. In specific Honolulu ports, waves could surpass 20 feet, 6 meters. On the Oregon and Washington coasts, tides might exceed 13 feet, 4 meters, even in moderate scenarios. In poorly protected areas, these heights would be more than enough to trigger widespread destruction. Despite all this technology, it doesn't save lives on its own. How people respond to warnings determines the outcome of a disaster. In places like Hawaii and California, where public awareness is stronger, there's a better chance of an effective response. But in regions lacking a culture of preparedness, things can spiral out of control fast. Many still ignore alerts or don't grasp their urgency. The vulnerabilities go beyond communication. Urban infrastructure often isn't designed to withstand extreme events. Many at-risk coastal cities were built before modern tsunami codes existed. This means buildings, access roads, and public facilities may not survive direct wave impact. Rebuilding after such a disaster would cost billions and take years. As the Earth continues its natural cycle, we must choose between inaction and prevention. Technologies are available, alerts work, but without public awareness and proactive planning, they're not enough. Waiting for disaster to strike is repeating past mistakes. Now is the time to turn knowledge into action, to educate future generations, and ensure that when the inevitable happens, we're ready to face it. If this topic resonated with you, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Activate the notification bell so you don't miss any content about Earth's secrets and the natural challenges we face. Share this video with someone who needs to know this reality. Information, when used wisely, can save lives, and here, knowledge is our strongest shield.